Hi, my name is Ferris Mardini. I'm an anesthesiologist here at IAA. Um, I joined the practice about a year ago. Um, I was a resident at the University of Connecticut, which allowed me to be exposed to IAA as a resident, and I found that I really loved it there and uh, decided to join, join the group. What do you like most about IAA? What I like most about working here at IAA is that uh, I get a great variety of anesthesia that I can do. Um, we have everything from the simplest cases to some of the most complex cases in the state. Um, and from day to day, I may be doing something from something as simple as doing colonoscopies to something as complicated as some of the uh, most advanced sort of lung, uh, um, lung cancer treatments as well as uh, um, abdominal surgeries that are state of the art. Um, I even cover obstetrics uh, from time to time and uh, you know that sort of change in what I get to do and what they allow me to do here is something that is somewhat unique to IAA. What is the clinical environment like at IAA? So the clinical environment here is very collegial. Um, I find that me and my colleagues, my anesthesiologist colleagues as well as my CRNA colleagues is fantastic. Um, we're a team more than anything else. We work together really well um, and anytime I have any issues I find that I'm able to uh, you know just pick up the phone, call the office or call one of my colleagues and I've got help right away. Um, I even find that here working here even with the surgical groups um, everyone is very very open, everyone's very listening. We basically have a lot of uh, ability to sort of dictate what we will and what we won't do and uh, that's one of the things that really really makes me happy to be working here. How do you manage work-life balance? Yeah, so, you know, this is my first job out of residency, so I went from having, you know, a 75 to 80 hour work week, and uh, I'm down considerably from that. Um, so I'm in the, what we call the partner sort of group, um, and that means that, uh, you know, my days are different lengths each day. So while I do have nights where, days and nights where I will go late, there are many days where I come out early, and I can expect that I will be early. I have a young four-year-old son. I spent my entire day today with him up until this point. So, you know, you know, we have ability to have, uh, you know, life balance along with work. I don't feel like I'm overly worked or stressed out here at all. So that's one of the, one of the, one of the things that's kind of uh, a little bit uh, great about this place. Do you have a predictable call schedule? Yeah, so um, that's one of the things is that uh, and the call schedule was something that uh, I'm sure it took a long time to figure out. But uh, um, I, when I, you know, take a look at it, it's very fair. You know, we basically know exactly what's coming. We have an idea of whether or not we're going to be on call or not on call. And there's a lot of extra opportunities also to pick up extra shifts if you want to. So, you know, one of the things I really like here, I'm young in my career. I'm able to work as much or as little as I want, basically. Is IAA an academic or non-academic institution? Um, it very much an academic institution, um, and that's actually one of the reasons I wanted to stay here. Um, I have been, uh, you know, in academics for a long part of uh, my, my life so far, and I feel like I want to be able to teach. Um, we both have residents as well as uh, nurse anesthetist students, um, and uh, we get great opportunities to work with them and teach them. Um, and uh, for the most part, uh, you know, there's no, nothing stopping us from teaching them every single technique. Even the most routine cases, we can use the most complicated procedures and teach uh, teach as we as we do our work. And uh, the academic environment is supported by both the group as well as the hospital, so it's very easy to. Uh, um, you know, really, really uh, point to the fact that uh, we are very academically inclined here. What was your role in academics prior to IAA? Um, so uh, I was uh, working in research uh, for a number of years beforehand. I uh, was a, actually a financial uh, analyst for a number of years, so I had to go back to do my post-baccalaureate after uh, um, uh, uh, I decided I wanted to go to medical school in order to get my requirements for there. And then that's where I, just, where I became uh, sort of more versed in research. I got into a lot of sort of academic teaching as well as uh, research opportunities as well. Why did you switch from your financial career to a medical career? The financial industry wasn't, wasn't what I was looking for. Um, I didn't find myself satisfied and uh, I just wanted to do more of my life and that's why I went into medicine. Um, and. Uh, I don't know, the idea of uh, like you know learning and teaching and uh, sort of being in a collaborative environment where we are sort of advancing uh, not just the science of what we do but the sort of uh, um, accessibility of what we do and uh, I think that's one of the things that really draws me. Do you foresee yourself becoming involved in research at IAA? Um, so I have seen a lot of things that uh, you know I'm curious about and I want to definitely uh, 
uh, sort of see if there's any way we can improve. Um, a lot of the sort of devices we use are, you know, have little things that we could fix, and uh, that's sort of the angle I want to, uh, if I was to do more research, was would be to sort of look and see if we can design better equipment for, for, for anesthesia, and that can help everybody. Does IEA provide leadership opportunities? Yeah, so um, that's one of the things that uh, um, was the draw for me here. Not just that it was a great uh, job right out of residency, but the fact that uh, you know this group is growing um, and that uh, it's very open in terms of uh, um, letting people sort of build their careers and build their uh, sort of uh, ability to not just not just be anesthesiologists, but to be leaders in the uh, um, hospital as well in the community. Um, um, so that's one of the things that uh, it's definitely seems like it's open for me, and uh, I, I can't wait to be more involved in, in, in more opportunities. Why IAA? So one of the things that, as, especially as a young anesthesiologist, that uh, um, really I think is important to me is that I get to do sort of very advanced cases, complicated cases, anything from the traumas to the you know cardiac uh, cripples to anybody who's extremely sick so that I can hone my skills as an anesthesiologist, sort of uh, make myself a better doctor so that when it comes time that I don't want to do that kind of a thing that uh, I, I can throttle back from that. But uh, IA also allows you the opportunity to do whatever you want with your practice too. So, you know, we are a large practice. Um, we have a lot of uh, different facilities that we go to. We have community hospitals, we have trauma hospitals, we have surgery centers. Um, so, you know, um, this, this, this uh, group allows me to essentially tailor my career to exactly what I want it to be. And uh, I, I love that. What would you say to someone considering joining IAA? Yeah, I've only been here for about a year, so. Uh, uh, but uh, realistically, I've actually been here for about four years because of my uh, um, residency here. And um, one of the things I really love is that I love my colleagues, and that uh, you know I really like that who I work with and how how accessible everything is and how accessible they are. Um, we're very uh, flexible, you know, say I need to take a day off or um, like, you know, I don't want to be on call this certain day, I f easily find someone to take it from me and I'll take it from them just the same. Um, you know, we, you know, have a lot of uh, sort of uh, people who are very intelligent here on the cutting edge of anesthesia and like, you know, there's a lot of things I can learn from my colleagues as well and, uh, you know, with, uh, with the academic opportunities here, there's opportunities to teach as well. So it's a very unique sort of practice. This isn't a university hospital, but uh, we have almost every residency represented at this hospital in collaboration with UConn as well as a couple other places um, around. So, you know, this is truly a unique place. It's not uh, um, what you would expect uh, just by looking at the, uh, look at the front door. So.